There's a lot of confusion and a lot of questions after India scrapped its 2,000 rupee note on Friday. To add to the noise is misinformation floating on social media. Now, according to reports, the State Bank of India has issued a notification to clarify false information during the rounds online. Reports show that the State Bank of India or SBI issued a guidance that exchanging or depositing 2,000 rupee notes will be permitted without obtaining any requisition slip. SBI also made it clear that no proof of identity like an Aadhaar card will be needed for the exchange. Those guidelines were issued to clarify rumours that some document or slip would be required. SBI also restated that a maximum of 20,000 rupees in 2,000 notes will be, may be deposited or exchanged at one time. Now, media reports also show there is no daily limit to deposit that suggests one can deposit more than 20,000 rupees in 2,000 notes or exchange them as many times as possible. Now, the only catch here is that one has to stand in the queue all over again after a single transaction is completed. While September 30th is the timeline set, reports show the 2,000 rupee note will continue to remain a legal tender. India's decision to remain to remove the 2,000 rupee note from circulation comes nearly seven years after the government banned currency notes with a face value of 500 and 1,000. That exercise has had divided views on the effectiveness of the move. This time, however, the move is expected to be less disruptive. According to analysts, the introduction of the 2,000 rupee note in 2016 was solely to refill the money supply quickly following the demonetization policy. The central bank has made it clear that it wants to reduce the number of high value notes in circulation. The RBI said this denomination is not commonly used for transactions. The Reserve Bank of India or the RBI stopped producing 2000 rupee notes four years ago. Let me at the outset uh, clarify and let me sort of uh, re-emphasize that it's a part of the currency management operations of the Reserve Bank. According to Section 27 of the RBI Act, the Reserve Bank is required to uh, required to uh, not issue notes which are excessively soiled, defaced, or damaged. Under that section, for a long time, the Reserve Bank has been following what is called a clean note policy. Therefore, from time to time, Reserve Bank withdraws currency notes of particular series and issues fresh notes. We are therefore withdrawing it from circulation, these 2,000 rupee notes, but they continue as legal tender. Uh, 